Guys, we got this Lincoln right here, uh, MKX. They said that uh, that's it. when they, uh, I guess their son drives it. Um, how did that remote start? Oh man, must have an aftermarket remote start. They said uh, they said the dash will go out, and I guess they don't know if the radio goes out. They said the dash will go out. Look at our traction control light flickering. Oh, there's our gauges going. Look at that. Let's see what's going on here. Um, they had a new alternator put in. I don't know if you saw that. The gauges just went out and came back on. And we had the traction control light flashing. There they went out. They went out again. Kind of curious like what our battery voltage and stuff is. Look at that, how oh, they keep going out. What's our interior light do? Oh, look at our interior light. See how it's flickering? There's our traction control light, everything. I wanna see what our battery voltage. Oh, look how high our battery voltage is going. Seventeen volt. They got a bad alternator, guys. We got a bad. Al oh my God, we got a bad alternator. You see the battery voltage? We had seventeen volts on there. Seventeen point six. Let's go confirm this with a meter. Um, I'll quick go grab my. I guess I'll grab like my Zeus. This might be a quick one from the driver's seat. The only way our battery voltage can go up that high is with the, uh, uh, what do you call it? With, they call it battery voltage, okay. Um, there's an alternator pit on here. I don't know what they call it. Usually they have like a duty cycle generator. Bolt is desired, look at that. Desired and look at our battery voltage. Look how much that's jumping around. See, it's commanding it, then it's not commanding it. So yeah, we got a bad alternator. Look at the lights. Uh, I'll get a bad. I'll, I'll get a measurement on the alternator itself too, so we can confirm that. What? Yeah, this needs an alternator. Okay, lap scope turn on. Got my ground, got my power. Let's see, let's go under scope. Actually, you know what? We can probably, uh, we can do scope. Look at that, 15 volts. Half a volt swing. It's probably causing all kinds of weird stuff in here. Put some loads on here. See if it makes it any worse. Oh, there we go. We saw 16, 17, 16 volts. What do we got here? 18 volts was the highest we saw. 
<laughs> Look at that. Look how high that is. That is insane. Look at that. So we need to get a new alternator. Man, that is insane. So I think we're done here. I'll see if they want to do an alternator. If they don't, then I hope you guys like this video. That's a quick one. That's why their cluster and stuff wasn't working. See you guys later. Look at the codes on here. So we got system high voltage, roll rate circuit failure, longitude, all this battery voltage is too high. See, all this is going to be causing because of that battery voltage high. All these... Like, and it's gonna, it's putting like an AC wave in, so it's gonna interfere with a lot of these signals. Isn't that crazy? I bet you most of these were caused by the voltage changing like that. So, um, well, uh, I'm gonna save this report and then I'll see, see what the customer wants to do. This was an interesting one. See you later. Hey guys, we're back with the, uh, with the uh, Ford or the M Lincoln MKZ, and uh, got a new alternator in there, new not reman, and uh, I actually got it warranted out for them. They uh, bought it from AutoZone, so let's do a fault scan. Oh, we shouldn't really have any codes. Oh, well the battery is disconnected, so let's see. I bet you this is gonna be a lot better now. I don't know why we got all these codes. Batteries disconnected. Let's see report. It must have kept. I think the battery is disconnected. I didn't do the job. So we'll just clear all these. Let's go into our PCM. I want to reset keep alive memory. It gives me the option. I guess we don't have an option in here. This is, is it under hot functions? Service. There we go. This will do our misfires and everything. We should do our misfire counter. Okay, this is complete. Let's go back. I want to go back to a live data. I just want to see what our... Oh, we got a new... Oops, didn't want to go in there. Um, we... I also got a new uh, battery. Because I was afraid that I was cooking the old one. See live data. Let's see. One generator. Generator command. Monitor frequency. I don't even think we need all these. Desired. What the heck do they call that? Uh, battery voltage. Let's see. Let's 
It's definitely looking a lot better. Our light isn't flashing. Voltage is staying nice and steady. Let's see, let's turn our lights on. High beams. I don't want wipers. I think the wipers are already on. Let's see. Auto, rear defrost. Sounds like something's loose underneath the truck. Keeping up though. Our duty cycle 50%. Gonna let this run for a little bit and we'll come back to it. Okay guys, so um yeah the customer didn't want that noise fixed. So um well, look at that. Raise the RPM up. Oh, that's a very stable voltage right there. Let's turn these all off. Oh, you know what? That noise is the AC. Yeah, we don't have that noise with the AC off. So I hope you guys like that. Quick one. See you guys later. So look at this, 12.5. I had them take it for a test drive. 12.5 is our battery voltage, 12.3. All we got on is our AC, rear defrost, or headlights. Take our high beams off, and our high beams are on. Take our high beams off. Look at our duty cycle. Still, still not gaining. Let's uh, turn off our rear defroster. Then we go out to 14. But we can't have the rear defroster on. Let's see, can we turn our lights off? So it barely keeps up with just that on. Let's put our high beams on. So this thing can't keep up. Look at our duty cycle. That's insane. What about rear defroster? Rear defroster and lights. Our duty cycle is at 80%. So I think we got another bed alternator. The only other possibility is our battery was weak or low. But we can't even really test that other than we could check how much current's going into the battery right now. Hey guys, so I put my amp clamp around the terminal right here. And we got 13, 13 amps going into it. And if we come to the other side, uh, guys, oh, here we go. On this side, 20 amps coming out, so might not have been on it the best, but it's not like I was on it better when I was filming by myself. But the battery's fully charged. Our issue is our alternator, it's 100% our alternator. <sighs> let's see, so we're at 13. Let's see, let's turn something on. Turn our lights on. So just headlights, rear defrost. We're up to there. Let's see, auto. Look at how high our duty cycle is.
heated seats on. So it's actually keeping up now. We got uh, everything on. Um, the heated seats I don't think stay on too long with the defroster and the AC on. But uh, we have 95% duty cycle with them on. And our battery voltage is staying stable. Let's see what kind of amperage we're pulling. 72 amps. Actually, our battery voltage is here. Our max was 91 amps. Let's see if we can get that back up to 91. Let's see, what else can we throw? Five the highest. So we have thirteen point one. Commanding all this stuff on, so I think we should be good. We turn this all off. Let's see what we go back to. Oh, and our traction control lights on because of wheel speed sensor. Yeah, I think we're good. Good. Let's go back. I'm going home. Okay. I'll have to call him front tomorrow. wheel speed sensor. Oh, I hope you guys like it. Hopefully it was interesting. See you guys later.